Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to explore another beautiful Corps of Engineer campground. I hope it's beautiful. I've never been there. We're going someplace new. I'm currently camped out at Holiday Campground on Benbrook Lake. Benbrook Lake is extremely low. We're done here. Spent two beautiful nights, two so peaceful nights because there's no one else here but me on this part of the campground. We're done here. We're gonna pack up and we're gonna drive about 15 minutes to the other side of the lake. We're headed over to Bear Creek Campground, another Corps of Engineer property on Benbrook Lake. So let's hit the road and go check out Bear Creek. Bear Creek Campground, Benbrook Lake. Just, just never know when you're looking on recreation.gov and Google, Google Earth. You, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Campgroundviews.com will help you out. Uh, but you can also watch Dude RV and I'm going to help you out too. So I, uh, when I was making my reservations, I saw that there, were a, there was one area that had a lot of shade trees. It's August 2nd. 100 plus degree days shade is a valuable commodity so i selected site number three and that's where i am in site number three it's got a brand new picnic table metal roof fire ring slash charcoal cooker but that's off limits because we're in the middle of a burn ban that's all of our amenities well, except for power we have 30 amp and we have water but one of the things that you don't get when you're looking at the pictures on recreation.gov is perspective so let me give you perspective on site number three if i'd have had perspective i probably wouldn't have selected this pull through this really snug for a you know, we're 34 feet long. I think this was intended for a much smaller RV. And about five inches of clearance there on the slide. I'm on three blocks. And we got another tree back here. We're snug. Brand new power pedestal, or at least it's been worked on. Yeah, so we're here. And it's kind of interesting because all the other RVs that are here seem to be here on a long term. Except, well, there's a couple that may be temporary, but most of them seem to be long term habitation. And uh, I think that's the the Park Coast, bit of a hoarder. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then we'll go see some stuff. Some things that really worry me about when I'm camping in the RV and I'm under a big old shade tree. <laughs> And that's that that big old shade tree is rotted and hollow and it doesn't take much wind to take it down. So if you see a tree that's got a big old dead spot on it like that, don't camp under it. You may regret it. Bear Creek Campground actually has a relatively new, I say relatively compared to the other one over by my campsite, but a relatively new shower facility. This is the handicap. Works good. Now you know. So you don't know what you don't know. When I was making my reservations for, for Bear Creek, I, I thought I, I would be better off in the the site number three there with the trees because you really couldn't tell much from the, the map. Man, was I wrong! 
I'm in a site that's not really big enough for my RV. It's 30 amp. I got neighbors and I could be out here where there is nobody. I'm just curious. That's 30 amp. But that's all right. You know, I've got soft start. I, I can run both air conditioners on a 30 amp. Maybe I'll move, maybe I won't. I don't know. Let's go, let's go see what else we can find. Well, my visit to Benbrook Lake has not been very friendly to my boat ramp fans because all of the boat ramps are closed. And this is actually the, the only real place that you have access to the, to the water in Bear Creek Campground. That's Holiday Park. That's where we were last week. Let's go see what else we can find. So if you're thinking about having a group gathering of, of RVers, you got a bunch of RVers that want to get together and camp together, Bear Creek's got a really cool setup. Of course, we, we're in the, I'm in the pavilion, the, the group dining pavilion. It's, you know, four picnic tables and a big old cooker and a water fountain. Oh, there's a communal fire pit and a street light. But what this really has going for it is the RV sites themselves. It's not just a big circle. Well, it is a big circle. But each, the RV sites are individual campsites. I have what one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six RV sites right here in this loop, and then there's some right across the street. We'll go. We'll go check them out in just a minute. All the pedestals seem to be relatively new here. And they all seem to be 30 amp. I'm not seeing any 50. So make sure you put your soft start on. So if you have a smaller RV, site 25 is incredible. And I say smaller because I'm not sure how, how tall that branch is on that oak tree, but just look at this campsite. This is so cool. You're just kind of hidden here inside these oak trees. Three huge oak trees. Pad is not really great. But you got a good, good south wind blowing through here in this shade. It is not uncomfortable at all. This is actually really nice. I didn't know what I didn't know. Now I know, site number 25. And I think, hold on, let's, let's test this. So, I'm six foot two, when I, I can touch eight feet, and then my, my selfie stick is, four feet so that's going to be eight 12 feet tall i need 12 foot six <laughs> there's clearance there's enough room to get an rv in here you'd be kind of threading threading the needle but it will be it would be well worth it if you're here for a couple days during the summer this is this is a really good site i can't say it enough i, I got a breeze through here that is just awesome okay I, i'll quit going on and on about site 25 and go find something else bear creek campground does not have a swim area a beach or, or really any recreation opportunities other than the boat ramp but this road that's closed off and there's a gate on that end as well but this takes you directly to mustang park let's go pay a visit to 
Mustang Park. Mustang Park on Benbrook Lake. I'm excited to show you this one. It is, it's looking to be a really pretty place to spend some time. Now it is a day use only, day use area only. I am traveling in Trudy Thunder. When I rolled in the gate, the, the attendant said, you're not planning on camping, are you? No? Okay. So anyway, we're gonna hop on Little Red and we're gonna run around and we're gonna look at all the stuff. And it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff to see. Now you do need to know that Bembrook Lake is at record lows right now. So the, the beach is not gonna be as beachy as we like. So let's go see some stuff. So we're gonna start it off right for my boat ramp, for my boat ramp fans. We have a boat ramp. I've, I've been at Benbrook Lake for two days over at, uh, if you weren't here last week, before I get into that, hey, if you like RV and camping related content, click on that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell as well, cause that's what I specialize in. All right, so back to what I was saying. I was camped over at Holiday Park on the other side of the lake and the, all the boat ramps on that side of the lake were closed because of the record level loads. And I think this is probably the only boat ramp that's open. And at the rate it's going, <laughs> It might not be open for long. All right, let's go find some more stuff. If you're looking at Mustang Park on Google or on the Corps of Engineer map, you see that there's a peninsula that sticks out into the lake. And that's where we are now, right out on the point. Looks like it'd be a great, a great place to spend the day fishing. All right, let's go see some more stuff. It does not appear that we can travel through here. I guess I got to go back out and come around. That's, that's kind of kind of strange. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Well, Mustang Park does not allow camping, but we got showers. They're at the, the back side of the shower restroom facility. That's the, the swim beach over there. So, if you're in, traveling in a van and you need a place to take a shower, now you know. Mustang Park actually has two boat ramps. So far, I've discovered two boat ramps, but this one, as all of the ones like I saw yesterday, this one is, <laughs> it's not open. There's not enough water. Let's go see if we can get to the beach. So that's that's where I, that's where we got stymied before. They've got it partitioned off. So this is the the swim beach. A big sign says no pets, no camping, no fishing, no glass bottles. Just your body. That's all that you can bring here, is just, just your body to get in the water. So you can see those metal poles sticking up. That holds the marker buoys for the beach. They're all out of the water. Because the water's so low, the lake is so very low. So we are Right now, I'm standing about where the water line should should norm would normally be at the at the swim beach, or should that's where it should actually be. If you're coming out here to swim, you might want to wear some swim shoes. It's not exactly a sandy beach. Ha! 
high water mark 10 feet I guess 10 feet over where I'm standing now that's pretty crazy all right let's go find some more stuff so there's there's no camping at Mustang Park but there is a dump station and I think that dump station uh, heralds to a bygone day when this whole uh, area was all of these all of these Corps of Engineer parks were connected they're still connected they're just partitioned off let's let's go see an airfield now, last week if if you follow the channel I was visiting Holiday Park North the day use area on the other side of the lake and they have an airfield an RC airfield there that is in bad shape and I, I didn't I thought maybe there's no nobody here in Benbrook interested in radio control but I was wrong welcome to Thunderbird Field the Fort Worth Thunderbirds radio controlled organization they they lease this from the u.s army corps of engineer and they're responsible for <laughs> how awesome the, this is probably the most awesome rc airport we've been to now rc airports is not an uncommon thing at u.s army corps of engineer parks But this one, this one, man, see your operator stations on deck, AMA card must be displayed before flying. And we're headed for takeoff. was fun no powered taxi that's pretty cool if you're in the RC aircraft Let's go see what else we can find. Some of the various places that I've visited here in Mustang Park. This is actually my, my favorite. And it looks to be a, a fairly popular place. But right now the, the lake is so very low. Yeah, it's not that great. But if the lake were up to level, then this would be an awesome place to launch a kayak. Apparently there used to be a road till the lake went in, I, I presume. And there's cows wandering around out here. So you gotta watch your step. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Good morning. That's a pretty morning. I slept in. <laughs> I normally am up like 5 36 o'clock. But thanks to that, that new mattress, the uh, sun was already up, so there was there was no running out to get a sunrise shot this morning. Thank you for that, RV mattresses by Brooklynbedding.com. Oh by the way, a special thanks to RV mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding, RV mattresses.com backslash dude RV. Thank you for sponsoring this video to Bear Creek Campground on Benbrook Lake. That mattress is just, it is so comfortable. Can't believe I got a 10 year warranty on that thing either. Down in the, the description below and in the card right up there, 
There's a link. RVmattresses.com backslash DudeRV. Make sure you use the code DudeRV and you'll get 20% discount. Think about that. 20% discount. At a 120 night guarantee. Meaning you can sleep on it for 119 nights. And if you're not happy, they'll take it back. You get a 10 year warranty. Free shipping. That's a winner winner, man, for a good night's sleep. All right, let's talk about Bear Creek Campground. I was initially I was not impressed, uh, just because the you know the pictures, the information on the on the internet are are always lacking. Uh, and I rolled in here and I saw the the camp host site, which was a uh, I appreciate what they do, you know, with the within the in the campground system. But really, you know, if you're a park host, you really shouldn't be a hoarder either or get a storage unit or something. It's just unsightly. Enough about that. Let's talk about the campground. There's some road noise. Right, in this part of the campground. Now, back out by the by the lake, it's pretty, it's very quiet. It's very quiet out by the lake. Here, in this part of the campground, there's, there's road noise. But out here, and there's a, a train horn every once in a while. Not close by, but close enough. I didn't hear it in the coach because of the air conditioner. I like this campground. When I come back, I'll be staying out there by the lake under those big old oak trees. That's a cool sight. It's 25. If you've got a group of folks you wanting to do a, a get together, this is a very convenient location. Uh, and that's a, a very nice little camping loop. It's not too far from civilization, so you can buy groceries. The lake is so bad, so low though right now. If you've got a boat, you're you're literally almost out of the water. Uh, it'd be a cool place to explore with a kayak if it was higher. So until the water comes back, this is really just an RV campground. It's a good one. I think it would make an excellent waypoint stop if if you're close by, uh, heading from. It's it's definitely a good place to come out and spend a, a week or so and relax in the RV. You, you don't have any hardly any competition for campsites. That pretty well sums it up. Uh, you know the day use area. Mustang Park is kind of inconvenient if you're camped here. Uh, if you want to go to the swim area, you've got to go out and go all the way around about four miles. They could just have a walkthrough gate so you could bicycle. I don't, I don't understand why that's closed off. I do understand why it's closed off. It doesn't mean it makes sense to me. It doesn't mean I'm happy with it. All right, we're done here. From here, shortly I'm going to be packing up and I'm going to be headed south. We're going to go camp on the Brazos River. We're going to visit a park operated by a county right outside of the little town of Rio Vista. We're going to spend the night at Ham Creek Park. And from what I can see uh, in my research on the internet, satellite images and pictures, this looks, this looks like a really really nice RV campground. So join me next week. You're not going to want to miss this visit to Ham Creek Park. So do me a favor and click on that subscribe button down there and, and click that bell as well. That way you will never miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm most grateful. That's why I'm here exploring. That's why I do what I do is because of you. Thank you for that opportunity. And for, and for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?